Hi there, I'm Ben and these are the PlayStation Plus games you'll be getting for the month of April 2019. It looks like Sony is sticking with the two game offering, I'm pretty sure it will stay this way until the PS5 is released. They do seem to be of a higher quality than they used to be at least and as long as that improves then I don't mind losing the PS3 and the Vita games. Did anyone still play the PS3 or Vita games anyway? Be honest now. As always I'll be looking at the games from a trophy hunter's perspective, so without further ado. The first of the two games we'll be getting during April is Conan Exiles. Conan Exiles is an open world RPG survival game. You start the game with nothing and are expected to survive the harsh landscape and the creatures within it. Because the game is a survival game expect a lot of foraging for materials, crafting and grinding. From what I've seen of the game and its crafting it definitely looks interesting. You will have to craft your own home so you can take shelter within it, this can be as simple as a house or a massive castle, it's up to you. When you're not crafting or looking for materials you'll be defending yourself against the many different animals and enemy types, they vary from crocodiles to spiders. The game also seems to have a strong emphasis on realism which in turn leads to it being quite a difficult game. Trophy wise this game can be viewed as an extremely long and difficult one or as one of the easiest and quickest. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense at all, I know. The game has some inbuilt admin cheats, so if you're that way inclined, you can blaze through the game in around an hour. There will still be one trophy that you'll need to ask a friend to help you out with though, as it's multiplayer based, but it's a very quick one, so don't worry about that. If you don't want to use cheats, you're looking at a platinum time of 50 plus hours and quite a high difficulty of around 6 or 7. You could bring that down a bit though if you play the game with a friend and from what I've seen and read, this is the way you want to go. The game becomes very tedious when played alone as there is a lot of grinding involved. Personally that puts me off, I just don't have the time or patience for monotonous grinding anymore, but if I ever feel like bumping my trophy count up I might use the cheats and get this done in an hour. The second game this month is The Surge. The Surge, to describe it simply, is a cross between a Souls game and the film Edge of Tomorrow, or Live Die Repeat whatever it was called, you know the Tom Cruise film. You'll be battling enemies while in a mech suit, and if you die, any XP you haven't banked will be lost if you don't retrieve it from where you died. So is it as difficult as a Souls game? It doesn't seem to be, no. There is still a challenge there, but it's fair and you can upgrade and level up to make things easier. With regards to the trophies, this game is obviously not going to take you an hour like the previous one. Having said that, you wouldn't expect Conan Exiles to take you an hour either. Anyway, you're going to have to play The Surge twice and there are a bunch of missable trophies. For that reason I would advise using a guide. Unfortunately I haven't made one for this game but I definitely think it has potential for my new full platinum walkthrough series. It's just going to be a while before I can get to it sadly. The trophy list looks like quite a lot of fun and an interesting one. There isn't just your standard upgrade level up and collectible trophies. They are there but there's also really specific trophies like Ghost in the Machine which is for accompanying a father and his little daughter on their way through the facility. I have no idea what that means but at least it shows the developers have been creative with the trophies. The fact that there's a western DLC for this game as well has me really interested. Right those are the two games for April, are you going to play either of them or are you disappointed with the offerings let me know. Just a quick reminder of what games are leaving as these new ones come in, Modern Warfare Remastered and The Witness, that didn't take as long as it usually does. Ok thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next month for Maze Games.